So welcome to communicate to English class. So in the last session we discussed paraphrasing. Okay. In this session we will discuss summarizing. Uh, when you ask me the difference between paraphrasing and summarizing, uh, paraphrasing is you reproduce the text without disturbing anything or without changing the content or without changing the length. You tell it in your own phrases, in your own words. Whereas summarizing is different. Okay. So we will see what is summarizing. Okay. Uh, suppose, just let me give an example. Uh, if you watch a movie, okay. Uh, suppose if if you want, if your friend asks you the outline of the story, you won't tell every scene, okay. You will give just the summary of the movie, okay. What the characters are, what the movie is about, okay. And how how the editing or how the songs, how the fights. Just you will give a summary of the uh, movie okay but if real if in your childhood generally in childhood uh, children are good at describing things at that time they uh, you know they describe scene by scene okay in, while describing they won't miss anything okay that is paraphrasing in their own words they describe everything without missing anything but when you come up uh, when you grow up uh, you don't have, we don't have that much of patience to describe every scene and every dialogue and everything, right? So we'll give an outline of uh, the movie that is called summarizing, okay? So three hours movie you will be, you will give in three minutes, right? That is the summarizing. So uh, let us see, right? So let us see uh, the definition. Uh, according to Buckley, in her popular writing, text fit to print. Summarizing is reducing text to one third or one quarter its original size. Clearly articulating the author's meaning and retaining main ideas. So in paraphrasing we don't reduce the length of the uh, content. Okay, But in summarizing we reduce it to one third or one fourth of the length. Okay. So, we may call it as pressy writing also. So, here clearly articulating the author's meaning and retaining main ideas. We don't disturb the main ideas and uh, we don't eliminate any, uh, uh, any meaning of it. But we eliminate the redundancy or repetition or, okay, like, or unnecessary points and then we uh, make it a pressy. Okay, so generally summarizing is also called reduced text. Okay, and we represent only main ideas and uh, we clearly articulate uh, uh, what the uh, content is. Okay, and uh, we present uh, summary in uh, summarize, I mean, in summarizing, we present in a clear and short form. And uh, summarizing is a summary is a condensed version of the original text. And uh, summary is simple, brief, and accurate. And uh, summary consists of most important facts or ideas. Okay, summary is just like a thesis what the exact information is. Okay. So summary means we can call it in different ways, a reduced text or a summary is clear and short and summary is a condensed version. It's simple, brief, okay, right, this is summarizing. Why is, sum why is summarizing important to students? How paraphrase is important, like that summarizing is also important. It helps to understand the context. Even though we tell it in one or two sentences, we have clarity of the entire context when we develop uh, summarizing a text, okay? And it gives clarity of the information, okay? That means we, uh, so while you are, uh, no, summarizing the context, automatically you will get clarity of the information, you identify the main ideas and we eliminate the unnecessary, uh, unnecessary or unimportant ones. So you will have the clarity of the text or information. Learns the technique of catching important points. Sometimes see that, uh, so we refer lots of books, uh, lots of and lots of web pages. So lot of information is there. 
but we don't need to present everything else so at that time it is helpful for us to catch the important ideas next develops capability of integrating ideas that means when you read a textbook or when you read some information so the author may present different ideas uh, different places or something else so when you understand everything then you can combine combine or integrate your ideas and you can present it in a condensed form next it improves memory skills whenever you understand the context whenever you understand the logic uh, behind the text and everything then automatically your memory skills are improved okay right so there are different uh, techniques for summarization so here uh, the basic uh, or general uh, technique here is presented to discuss so when you are reading a text so you make six questions okay five wh five w i mean five w questions and one h question so, so overall six wh questions so if you ask these questions to your text you will get some information that is important or that is the core one okay so what is what are the questions that you can ask who is the story about here story means you take the information or a text okay who is the story about what did they do when did the action take place where did the story happen why did the main character do how did the main character do? okay so if you have if you frame uh, relevant questions to the text you will get some information that that is nothing but important information using that information you can summarize the text okay suppose if anybody asks you what's the story of ramayana what did you say you can say ramayana story in three words katte kotte teche right so you can tell the same ramayana story in one sentence you can tell the ramayana story in a paragraph you can tell the ramayana story in an essay or you can tell the same say, story in episodes right so it depends upon the context of our presentation whether it is needed one word or one sentence or one paragraph or one essay okay it depends on on uh, demand of the context but overall we need to have clarity of what the text is okay so now let's practice okay mm, right here a paragraph is taken for you to give to make the summary uh, let's read and identify the important ideas and how we can present it how we can make summary out of it uh, in 2020 74% of the global population used safely managed drinking water services national estimator national estimates were available for 138 countries and four out of eight sdg regions representing 45 percent of the global population <clears throat> coverage was lower in rural areas that means 60 percent than in urban areas which is 86 <clears> percent <throat> which were home to two out of three of the 5.8 billion peoples using <clears throat> safely managed services by 2020 a total of 84 countries had achieved universal coverage of at least basic drinking water services this report is taken or given by unicef 2021 okay it is in the paragraph 3 so <clears throat> so if you want to make a sentence or one or two sentences out of it uh, depending upon the demand of the summary what can be taken from it so it is talking about safely drinking water okay so year is mentioned here in 2020 they made a survey okay in that survey what did they find 74 percent so of course they have taken a part of uh, some regions okay uh, there uh, they have found that 74 percent of the global population uses safely managed drinking water 
and when it is compared with rural uh, rural areas with urban in rural areas only 60% of the people uh, have access to uh, safely drinking water and in urban uh, more than 86% okay this is the important information <coughs> see this okay so 70% of suppose if you want uh, your answer in one or two sentences so what can be retained 74% of people have clean water safely drinking water means clean water and a higher percentage of people in urban areas have clean water than in rural areas okay that is the outcome of the text right when you remove the percentage then what it is understood that people in urban areas have more access than the rural areas to the uh, safe drinking water see that how the summary can be written globally 74 percent of the population has access to safe clean water services and cities have better water safety than towns and villages so unicef 2021 this the, i mean the the i mean the content in the brackets tell you know presents where the resource is okay and i can't say that uh, this is the only way or this is the only one sentence that is correct for giving the summary no you can you can give this summary in other words also but uh, however at the end you should present that how much population has access to clean safe drinking water and which areas have great access okay that you should present so you can write in another way also i mean with other words also but the content should not be disturbed let us do another one these words by thomas j watson okay is the author of this one would you like me to give you a formula for success it's quite simple really double your rate of failure you are thinking of failure as the enemy of success but it is not as all you can be disgraced by failure or you can learn from it so go ahead and make mistakes make all you can because remember that's where you will find success here what he is talking about is he talking about success or failure suddenly he is talking about how failure uh, brings success or how failure creates an opportunity for learning instead of being disappointed okay so what are the important po uh, points here formula for success he talks about a formula for success that is also failing okay learning from the failures failing and learning from the failures see this one so the that paragraph is talking about formula for success and how we can succeed learning from failure those are the two important ideas see that here two summaries are presented okay uh, so we should not miss the so quoting the source of the text okay thomas j watson says that the key to success is actually to fail more often that is the essence of the paragraph okay or according to thomas j watson learn from mistakes is the formula for success instead of being discouraged by the mistakes it is somewhat elaborate than the first one but both will uh, you know express the content that failure is the uh, is the we you know so that failure is a stepping stone of success okay like this identifying main ideas and presenting it in a clear and in a lucid way is nothing but a summary or summarization okay oh okay. So there is one more example in 1917 the disney's moved back to chicago and walt entered mckinley high school where he took photographs uh, made drawings for the school paper and studied cartooning on the side for he was hopeful of eventually achieving a job as a newspaper cartoonist his progress was interrupted by world war 1 in which he participated as an ambulance driver for the american red cross in france and germany so here the disney's means here uh, family okay 
Uh, so it is talking about Walt Disney's effort uh, to become a newspaper cartoonist, but uh, how he entered uh, war. Okay, that is the subject of the uh, paragraph. So this is one summary. Okay, so there is always a welcome to the second summary, third summary also. Let us see whether this summary represents the the core idea of the. The uh, paragraph. After moving to Chicago, Walt practiced many arts during his schooling, hoping to achieve a newspaper cartoonist. But he joined the World War One for the American Red Cross. So here, what actually the paragraph? How Walt face uh, fate is turned? Okay. So that's why. What the you uh, know? We just removed uh, the Disney moved back. Everything okay. So what happened to Walt, and what he practiced, and finally where he was. These are the three things we have taken. After moving to Chicago, so here as the focus is on Walt, so we just removed the the Disney's here. The focus is on what Walt did in did uh, in in uh, right uh, Chicago. After moving to Chicago, Walt practiced many arts. So photographs and drawings, uh, everything comes under art. There we can instead the matter. Many arts during his schooling, hoping to achieve a newspaper cartoonist, but he joined the World War One for the American Red Cross. Okay, so like this we can uh, condense the text. Okay, thank you. So that uh, I think you have got a clear idea of what is paraphrasing and what is summarizing. Thank you.